G'day guys, Butcher Benny T back here with another video for you. Uh, in this video I'm going to go through how I go about scalding and dressing out a whole pig. Um, for starters I'll take you through a couple of bits of equipment that you'll need if you're going to um, try it at home. If you've done it before you might do it differently but this is how I do it. So for starters you probably you need a thermometer, just a probe thermometer. Um, I use that because you've got to get your water uh, bang on temperature to get this right. So we need one of those. I just recently got this, um, that's just, uh, just a cone for scraping the hair off with a toe hook, so that's just to hook his toes off. Um, it's alright, but I probably prefer to use this. Uh, I, that's a cut off old garden hoe that I've been using for years. I find that scrapes the hair off better than anything. Um, and I also use my hand. You'll see when I start that your hand takes a fair bit of the hair off. If you get it right, it'll come off pretty easy. Um, also, you'll need one of these. That's just to burn any. You always get that little bit of hair that just won't, won't come out, just the fine stuff. So you'll need that just to burn the, burn the excess hair off. And then I'll just split this vein around. What I do to heat the water up, I've just got this stainless stainless trough here with two high pressure burners under it, which I'll start up shortly. Um, and I'll heat the water up in there. I've also got a, got a drum here that is with cold water. So what I'll do, get the, um, I'll get the water heating up in this stainless one here. I'll heat that to about 67, 68 degrees. And then I'll pour that into a bath and I'll bring the temperature back down with the cold water to 65. So I'll, I'll scold my, these, pigs, these, these pigs today at 65 degrees. Um, I find that to work. I did a couple yesterday and that worked pretty well. When it's colder, sometimes you need the water that little bit hotter because the pig's body temperature is a bit, bit lower. It's about, here today, it's about so 18 degrees Celsius. So yeah, 65 seems to work. Um, so give us a give us a moment. I'll get set up. I'll get this water hot. Uh, get the pig ready, and we'll um, we'll get stuck into it. Dispatch the pig here. Um, as you can see, I shot it with a 22 rifle, uh, and then I've bled it. You can see I've just put one one hole through there with the knife just to bleed it out because you don't want to open it up too much. Um, and then I've given it a wash off, and now I'm about to put it in the water. Got the water to 65 or near enough. So if you jump in, we'll just show you. Take it off hold, and it should be, it's on 63 and a half there, which shouldn't be too bad. We'll drop her in and see how that goes. Right now, we'll just get Anne to drop it in. Nice and gently in there. Just let her, let her soak in there for a bit. And you'll see when the hair starts coming off, I'll show you. But pretty much just want to keep her right under. She dropped. Want to keep her right under the water, so this might take two or three minutes, but we'll run it at real time anyway. And then you can see exactly how long it takes. This pig here was a, or still is, she was a five month old um, gilt. So, a gilt, which is a female pig that hasn't had piglets yet. Um, Female pigs are a little bit better than boars uh, or barrows. Just you don't get that funny taste in them that can come through from them having it, having their nuts still in. So I sort of prefer to do the do the gilts. Give her a bit of a swish around and she get it moving a bit. The water is pretty hot to put your hand in, so you've got to be careful. You normally start seeing it come off the softer parts first, off the bellies, the ears, it'll start coming off. Keep her going. As I say, I could, I could have stopped this video and Restarted when the hair started coming off, but this will give you a, a good idea in real time how long it takes for that hair to start moving. 
and once the south move it comes off pretty easy you can see there now it's just starting to come off if you come in you can see that that's starting to scrape off there already it will lever in this a little bit more and then we'll make sure we get a real good scold on it but you can see that there that it's starting to move already and that's been all of i don't know probably maybe not even two minutes and it's starting to move so There we go. It's important not to, to just do that little stick and hole in the neck too, rather than cut their throat, just so you don't open it up and burn the meat. You want to keep everything closed up as much as possible. So that's starting to move pretty good at the moment. So I might flip it on her back and start, start um, doing the belly. You can see how easy that's coming off there, which is pretty good. Legs are coming off easy. Like I said in the intro, you can get it off with your hands. That's just scraping off with the hands there. Toe comes off. Set toe hook and whip their toes off. Do the other one. Those toes off there. Just get a bit more of this hair off, and then, we'll, then I might get her out of the water in a sec. It's starting to get pretty hot, so I'll show you what I do to hook it up. There's a little tendon in there, just a nick either side, there and there. And if I grab my hook, front legs and we'll whack her up. We could just use the forklift but we're just going to lift her up and out. Like that. And now I'll just go about scraping all that air off. You can see how easy that's coming off there now. That's a pretty good skull. Make it a bit of a mess in the shed here, but easy enough to clean up.
You can do the whole head, but I'm going to take this the head off so there's no need to get right down. You just want to get down just past you did, past her ears, and that's far enough because we're going to we're going to take her head off. I was talking about it get stuck on it but that's where the burner comes into its own finished it on that one that one that's pretty good there's pretty well just that bit of hair on it I might take these front trotters off because I don't eat these anyway so just straight through there whip that trotter off same this one just Pull the pressure up on it, when you cut it, it should nearly fall back and off. Like that. Like that. We'll just bring this drum in. We'll drop her, drop her guts out. So, I'll cut down a brisket first. Just get my hand to wash in this water. You see the start of the brisket there, that bit of cartilage. There it is there, you don't want to, you don't want to stab in up here because you end up cutting her belly open. But in this part, you're not going to hurt anything. There's only the heart, liver and lungs in there, so there's nothing you can really hurt. Bit of blood there from when I stuck it. I'll take her head off now. I've had a couple of people ask about the joint to get on their head. You'll see when I go in here. You want to get the one that... Right on her head, right on her bloody, at her head. So I'll try and, if you get down you'll see that's just pulled open there. So that'll come straight off. She doesn't need that. Then we'll spin around here, cut around her ring up. Like that, obviously if you had a little barrow you'd have a set of testicles up here but that's the other bonus of doing these, you don't get that. We'll cut around there, like that. Then we can cut down into gut or a belly. Same as I do with lambs. I'll just open up so I can see where I am. Because once again, you don't want to cut in here and split their insides open because pigs make a bloody mess too. So knife in backwards, straight down, reach straight up, grab a poo shoot that we've just cut. Get that to fall out the way. We'll take her kidneys here. We'll get around, you can see. Same as in a same as in a shape. You got the diaphragm there, we cut around that, come around this side. So the lungs, uh, the kidneys there, and the liver. And because I've cut right the way down, it'll just about fall down and out without too much effort. Like that. Now I'll just get rid of this excess hair on it. You can see that hair I was talking about. You could shave it. I could get the knife. Here, we'll get the rest of the hair off my tail there. Could get the knife and just shave that, but it's probably just as easy to bloody burn it off. So we'll get that burner. Just seal that last of that hair off. Just all that fine stuff that didn't come off. What they do in the abattoirs, they do exactly the same. So, like 
Ouais. Alright, so that's pretty good. Um, you can see there's got that singed hair, but I'll grab the hose now. Just give it a bit of a, a bit of a hose, I'll give it a wipe down with the towel, and she should be pretty good. I didn't get any blood that's left in it. I'll just grab that towel, give her a bit of a wipe. You can see that red on her back, that's actually from the that's not from the water. She had that before she was before she was killed. That's just from the, the sun burning her back because she was a white pig with not real lot of hair on it. So there it is. That's come up. That's come up pretty clean, I reckon. Um, uh, you can see it, once that hair starts coming off, it comes off pretty pretty quick and it's pretty easy. But you got to you got to sort of jump on it pretty quick. Um, normally when I'm doing a lot of pigs, I have two people. Um, one, you just saw I've got a hand to lift them up. Uh, two, when you're scraping them, it is a lot easier if two is get in one at up each end. But uh, anyway, that's how I go about it. Uh, keep an eye out. I'll do a video on how I cut them up shortly. And um, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, like and share. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.